afternoon guys, MC Procrastinator here. I hope you guys are all doing well. I've just come back from uh, looking at a Ducati 899 Panigale in Lower Hutt, Wellington. And you might be asking, why are we looking at Ducati 899 now? You know, you've been looking at Prilly 2 i you've looked at Kawasaki ZX-10R. Well, I'm trying to take my own advice. I have a little bit of time, not sold my bike yet, although I did think it was pretty close the other day. It's not really come to anything, as, as always the case. Something's not sold until it's out the door. So I touched base with Motomart in Wellington. That's actually where I bought my CBR from, just to, yeah, just have a look at a Ducati that I've seen there. And that came up pretty much because I've been looking at reviews, looking at motorcycle channels, and, um, you know, one of them that pops up quite often is, of course, the Ducati 899 through the playlist. And every so often I click on, oh, I don't want to do Cutting 899, you know, but there's this little bit inside me that goes, oh, that'd be kind of cool. But anyway, you know, I click on, and, and you know, I looked at one today, uh, Barnville Grumble did a 959, then I looked at his older one, 899, which I've seen before, and then I looked at Duke of DC, I don't know if you guys follow these guys, check out their channel, you know, they're, they're fantastic, great content, etc. And, um, you know, so I looked at the Ducati 899, fantastic. So I decided, to, so I, I knew there was one in uh, Motomart uh, in Wellington, Phoned them up, said, talk to the salesman, hey look, I haven't really got much time today, but I really want to have a look at it. Just kind of want to sit on it, start it, get an idea. Um, why didn't I have much time? Well, my kids do sports on a Saturday morning. Uh, my wife's off picking up her friend. She's coming to stay over here. She's just a baby. Um, yeah, it's kind of all crazy here at the moment. So I really just had this really small window of opportunity, but I wanted to be able to at least look at it and go, is that a bike that I want to consider? Yes, no. Went down there and just so happens that there was a guy there that I got yarn into that um, he owned a Tuano and he owns a, a couple of Ducatis, a 1098 specifically. And, um, you know, I was asking him, hey, Luke, what, what do you think? You know, what would you do in my, you know, because obviously I pff, told him my life story. And, um, you know, he, he was like, oh, mate, like I'd have the Ducati, but I wouldn't have the Ducati. I'd actually have the Aprilia Tuano, but I actually have an Aprilia Tuano, so I know how great it is. Oh, what year have you got? And he had a... Um, 2012 Tuano. So um, that was interesting because I've got somebody that owns these bikes and was able to go, yeah, go for the Tuano, go for the Tuano. But he said, but he said, this is a better looking bike. Oh, that's like, that's kind of eye of beholder stuff, right? You know, it like depends who's looking at that, um, what, you know, their perception is, what they perceive to be a good looking bike. You can get somebody to look at a sports bike and go, that's an amazing look bike. Uh, but somebody that you know is more in a naked bikes so look at a sports bike think it looks silly and likes their naked bike so it's all there's every time you ask somebody for their opinion and this is the dangerous thing you're always going to get their opinion right so you have to ultimately you have to take that information and try and put that together into something to make that work so what so i guess look i cut start long story short I jumped on a bike, sat on a bike. I'll play the video and I'll just leave it looping around so you can see what I was looking at because it's not the best quality. The bikes were par like parallel to each other. There wasn't much room and I didn't have time to take it out. And um, yeah, look, first thing, first, well, first, it's a beautiful looking bike, right? Pearlescent white. So there's two bikes he had. He had a red one, which is not quite good condition, but it hasn't been prepped yet. It's just come in. And then the white one, which has got the red wheels. I, look, I, I think the white one ticks the box straight away. Beautiful looking bikes, lovely pearl colors. It's got a nice contrast with the, the red wheels. And then of course, everything else about it is a Ducati 899, right? You know, it's a standard uh, standard model. It's not had any uh, modifications or anything done to it. It's just beautiful, right? Sat on the bike, first thing, notice, definitely more aggressive position than the Honda CBR 1000 RR that I have at the moment. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? The type of riding I do every day is probably not a problem. Um, so that, that was a good thing. So in my head, I'm kind of, you know, saying, well, actually, this could be something. And the next thing, which was really, really quite cool, not only did I have somebody that had a Tuano and had a couple of Ducatis that he could give me his personal viewpoint on, and, uh, you know, reliability, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Amazing what you can talk through in a, um, 10, 15 minutes. There's the Aprilia Tuano. So Motomart and Motorrad both have an Aprilia Tuano at the moment. Uh, you may have seen my other videos on that. Uh, one's the one in Motor Rad is done uh, thirty-seven thousand k's. That's the one that I did my um, kind of like brief walk around on that I was test riding. And then the other one, which is um, same. Oh, actually, it's a year newer. Sorry, it's done ten thousand k's. All right, both beautiful looking bikes, of course. Just one less case. One's more expensive, and so on. Anyway, these bikes are parked right next to each other. <laughs> it's like wow, you know, like 
I could have asked for something more perfect because I can view these bikes right next to I go, what did I prefer? Problem is, couldn't make a decision, right? I, they're both just bo beautiful, both of them are beautiful looking bikes uh, in their own field, you know? I guess the, I guess the great thing about the Pirelli Toano is it's not a racetrack bike, but it is a racetrack bike. It's not a naked bike, but it is a naked bike. It's, it, do you know what? It's like this thing that fits in between. The, um, the, the Ducati, on the other hand, it's a sports bike. Right? There's no doubt. It's just a sports bike. It's not like, it doesn't try to be anything else. It's a sports bike. And it focuses clearly on that. The great thing about the Aprilia, on the other hand, is it does, like, fit in this in-between, like, really, really well. So, long and short of it, guys, I still, I still don't know. I definitely, definitely, 100% going to put that um, Ducati 899 in the list, the bucket list, the, the list that I'm putting together. I definitely prefer to look over, um, over to the ZX-10R. Uh, I will say it was less comfy than the ZX-10R, but hey, we all know that changes when you're riding the bike. So that's probably not like a fair comparison. I will also upgrade and um, update everybody. The ZX-10R is now at the picture. Um, I've decided just don't like it enough. So, yep, guys, bit of a rant. I'll update you. I'll let you know I will be taking this 899, possibly a 959 for a ride. And yeah, I'll make sure I put that video together for you. Working real hard to try and create better content, better engagement with you guys. Um, if you've got any questions, please stick them in the comments. If you like my video, hit the like button. Um, comment, subscribe, guys. And uh, look, thank you very much. MC Procrastinator out. Uh, Good, just cut it in. Yeah.